Hey guys, me again. Uh, I posted up on the Conor McGregor incident um, a while back, so I'm just doing an update on it. Uh, he was due for sentencing on the 11th of October, but the case was adjourned to give McGregor time to decide his plea. So that would be on April, or sorry, that would be on November the 1st uh, that he goes in for his plea. The assault was on the 6th of April. Um, it's in, and the charge is a section 2 non-fatal offences against the person act with a max sentence of about 6 months. Uh, on the same day, or more or less, of uh, the court case, there was an alleged sexual assault by a well-known Irish sports star. And that took place... Uh, Around yeah, like I said, it took place around the same time out by Drimna. Uh, now, it came to pass that the New York Times had outed McGregor as the uh, f well known Irish sports star. Now I think we all kind of know, but we have laws over here that uh, don't let these people be named. But obviously, that is not the way in the states. So. You know, and it wouldn't be the last time or the first time they had out with McGregor. Uh, I do believe on the first sexual assault back in December, they had done the same as well. Um, so, uh, this sorry, I don't have to read off notes here. Um, so the girl reported to a West Dublin Garda station, uh, but it has been switched. The case has been switched to um, a guard station closer to the Drimna the drinking hold, so they are, they are taking it seriously. Uh, like I said, the sport, he was arrested in December over an alleged rape of a woman at a Dublin hotel. Um, I think that case might be ongoing, but, you know, them through the breaks. And then in March... You'll all remember he was um, arrested in Miami for uh, assaulting a fan and breaking his phone. Uh, but that was that charge was uh, he was charged. What was it? He was charged with strong armed robbery and a misdemeanor criminal mischief. So uh, that basically it was just a fine involved there. Um, so he's since been tweeting about a possible fight with Frankie Edgar uh, in December. Um, he's kind of lost whatever standing he had in the UFC at the moment. And bear in mind, there are cases outstanding with UFC fighters that um, lost out on fight purses due to um, injuries involved with the, the bus incident. So th these cases are still outstanding against him. Um, there was, there, there's lots of possible stuff in the works for him at the moment. Uh, possible rematch with uh, Floyd Mayweather. Um, the Frankie Edgar, he's supposedly activated his rematch clause uh, with Khabib Nur Nur Um There's just quite a bit. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, and lately he has put his philanthropy to the test. Now I say philanthropy. He he uh developed houses for the homeless. Supposedly he was in the news for doing great things there, but he 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 basically just flipped the houses. I mean, he made about a cool ten million off those houses. So. He wasn't really doing anything for anyone but himself. Um, you know, so basically whoever he sold them to is the one that's going to be um, doing whatever with them. He's um, also in the last couple of days come out with sending a girl to America for treatment for cancer. Now, can't fault that, but... It's not going to excuse the um the fact that he's up for two sexual assaults. 
sending someone to the US to um that's forced philanthropy. That's doing something to look good in front of a judge, you know. That's that that's not gonna make you any better of a person. Uh you should be able to do that. Ronaldo's done an umpteen occasions, he doesn't look for any publicity for it or anything like that. Uh you know, this this is just forced. This is look good in front of a judge, get rid of some money. So, you know, that's what he intends on doing, so be it. But I just don't see anything happening in December pending number one the assault charge and number two depending on how quick um this alleged sexual assault case is uh going to work for the system. But you know, I mean the titles are racking up for him or charges, whatever way you look at it, but um you know he's a nasty individual uh doesn't help that he's supposedly related to uh or married into a certain at least his family anyway married into a certain criminal gang in dublin that have ongoing issues so you know that that's not going to um help anyone either which is let's face it is probably the reason he's still out on the street because if it was anyone else, they'd be they'd be pretty much locked up. Although, with this um, supposed uh, gang affiliation, it does bring to light how he got the a lot of the information he got on uh, Khabib as um, as regards. Uh, the Team Eagle gym owner, um, you know, the financer, and an awful lot more. Some of the stuff, you don't just go online to get. And, I mean, there is one of that gang uh, holed up in Dubai with 20, around the clock 24 security, 24-hour security in an, an apartment complex in Dubai, or at least he's in a penthouse suite or something. So the money is there. The information can be there, you know, just how it goes. But uh, yeah, that's that's the update on the notorious Mac G. Uh, we'll see how it plays out in the courts, and sure. catch you next time, guys. Drop comments, drop insults, uh, you know, drop debates. I'll get back to you when I see fit. Thank you, guys.